Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's having a great, great morning so far. Heading to the office. We had a meeting done. Worked out. But just wanted to share a couple of things I was thinking about this morning. And I've said it over the years, but um, I don't know. You know, hopefully this helps somebody out there when it comes to, you know, business. Comes to if you're in sales or any type of business. But a couple of things that really served me well. The first one is basic. I mean, they're, they're both kind of basic. But the first one, everybody knows this, but not everybody does it, is just frankly, flat out, just get up earlier than everybody else. Because, it, you know, for an example, get up by four, you start getting going, you start doing a workout, you start working. Um, but, you know, before anybody else gets out, I mean, that's an extra three hours a day uh, that, that that you could be putting into your business working. And now, you know, now I'm going to get the pushback from people that say, well, you know, I'm not, it's, you know, work-life balance. I totally understand that. But if, you know, there's different seasons in your life and certain seasons, you have to put a lot of time in, a lot of hours in to get it off the ground, especially in sales. So that's just, that's basic. Okay. So that's the first thing, you know, get up earlier, put in some extra hours. Let's say you do an extra three hours a day than compared to most, you, you times that by five, there you go. That's an extra 15 hours a day right there that, that you could put into your business. Okay. Very simple concept. Most people are, are not going to do that. Okay. Served me very, very well over my lifetime. Second thing, and this is one where a lot of salespeople, I think, get it wrong. Okay. When I first started in the mortgage business and it was, um, man, it was, you know, almost 19 years ago. And the, literally the first week, there was a rep that came in from, from a mortgage company because, you know, at that time I was a broker. So we, we would broker out uh, to, to, you know, several different investors and they would come in with their rate sheets and everything else. But he was probably in his late 60s, early 70s. I never forget. I never forgot the advice that he gave to me. And it stuck with me from day one. I tell other people on this all the time, you know, people who come on our team who are newbies, people who are, you know, from from, you know, been in a business for a while. Best advice that served me well with dealing with clients is if you know your value, okay, and and you put your best foot forward and you try to uh, convince them to go with you because of X, Y, and Z, and you don't get the deal, okay, and he looked me right in the eye and he goes, look, some of the best deals are the ones you don't get. And I first I was like, what is he talking about? I'm getting started in the business. I, you know, I'm trying to, uh, trying to really, um, you know, trying to expand my business, just trying to get money in at that time. When I got into the mortgage business, I had literally about $5,000 in the bank account. Literally my wife was pregnant, was going to stay home. And, and I decided to to go into this new career. It was kind of, I don't recommend that for anybody, (laughs) for anybody. But, you know, it, it was a leap of faith. You know, I come from a background of self-employed uh, family members. That was my dad, you know, take a risk sometimes and so forth, not be risky. And so it was like the worst timing uh, for me to hear that advice because I was like, holy crap, you know, I've got X amount of dollars in the bank account, which is very little. Um, I was coming out of another business, which I was excited to get out of. And he looked at me and he said that, and it stuck with me from day one. It was the best advice that I've ever learned. Uh, you know, because some of the, some people, some deals, some clients are not going to be your fit and that's okay. All right. And that's okay. Most people have this mentality that we have to get every deal. We have to do this. We have to do that. Yeah. I will fight like hell to, to, to get business in the door. I'll do that until my, my last breath, but sometimes the best deals aren't the ones um, are, are the best ones just to let go because, um, you know, from that advice, that's really helped me really focus in on the people that we want to work with. And it served me extremely well. And it saves me, it saved me a lot of time. Um, there's a lot of time where, uh, where I see people in the mortgage industry or, or any type of industry that they'll try to make a deal work. It'll take up so much time. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't want to do business with you, but you're trying to force, uh, you know, a circle into a square peg, so to speak. And and it, it, it's just a big, you know, complete nightmare. So some of the best deals, trust me on this, are the ones you don't get because it frees you up so you can get other business that you want to have. Okay. Best advice I've ever heard. Best thing. 
hands down, it saved me time. Uh, it saved me a lot of frustrations over the years. So any questions on that, just let me know. Uh, comment down below, send me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. I'm about to pick up a smoothie and it's gonna be a great day. Take care everybody, bye-bye.